What's up guys, I just wanted to show you this test rig of mine with the Reptech 8 GPU blockchain PC motherboard CPU RAM thing. I've upgraded the RAM to 8 gigabytes because it normally comes with 4. I found that 8 gigabytes does better on the NVIDIA 30 series cards. Speaking of which, so the only thing I've got here hooked up is the Reptech. Um, ignore the rest of this stuff. I'm. It's just a test rig. I have an EVGA Supernova P2 12, no, which one is that? Is that 13? That one's 13. 1300 watt um, power supply, that's a G2, doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, so that is hooked up to the 6 pin input here, as well as this GeForce Asus Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 3080 triple fan and I should turn on the flash here do that no nope, cannot do that right now and uh, and a riser so we have the riser the card straight look straight into the uh, USB ports on the back of this Reptech and then the only other thing connected to the Reptech is this here flash drive which contains Minerstat OS. A lot of people use Hive OS. I much prefer Minerstat. I got the Ethernet cord. Um, and then I just have a keyboard there, which I really don't need. I was just doing some testing. So that can be removed. Anyway, point is, it does not. It does work with NVIDIA. And uh, here it is, that same rig right now. And I only have one GPU, the 3080 hooked up. And there it is mining. 99.6 something mega hash 621 mega hash at 90% fan um, so it is detecting that motherboard um, I didn't have to do anything special in minor stat I spent a long time trying to figure it out but it turns out I just needed a reflash of of minor stat so same thing with Hive OS minor stat if your drivers are not up to date or whatever um, we got screwed up at some point just flash a new one so swap out the flash drive you're good to go so that's what I did now in the motherboard in the BIOS of this motherboard I did have to change some settings I had to disable the uh, AM I have to disable the the internal uh, graphics card the AMD R5 graphics so that's completely disabled now if there isn't a PCIe slot, um, it does. This port does work if nothing is connected to PCIe. But if something is connected to PCIe, it will disable. Unless I turned on the Force Disable iGPU Integrated GPU, um, I did not do that. Um, otherwise, I get absolutely no display, and then it becomes trickier to try to get into the BIOS. Um, one thing to note here that tripped me up is that you cannot have any um, display hooked up to either the integrated GPU or the uh, graphics cards, any, any GPUs, external GPUs that you have hooked up over the um, PCIe USB ports. If you did, it will not boot, it will go into the BIOS where it shows you a list of all the PCIe devices connected and it will show you unknown device for all the 30 series so you're not able to get a display um, and not only you're not able to get a display if you connect a monitor it will not boot but if you disconnect it and boot the motherboard it will go straight into minor stat or hive os or windows or whatever you want to use you can't have a display and you can't have anything connected to any of the display ports regardless of what you do in the bio settings but anyway that's all you needed to do to get it working on the 30 series or the red tech working with nvidia cards particularly the 30 series i also did have this working with the 1070 in another video so anyway, that's all. I just wanted to show you that it does work. A lot of people are having trouble with this. I was having trouble with it um, until I finally realized that I just needed to <laughs> remove that HDMI cable. And there it goes. So that was silly. 
Um, and of course, make sure you change those BIOS settings. I can't show you the BIOS anymore because I already did them and I don't really want to bother disconnecting everything. So just letting you know, disable the integrated GPU um, and set the default to, to the external graphics, but then don't actually connect anything. Um, and if you configured your minor stat correctly, when you plugged it in and go to config.js and change your worker name and rig name, it should just show up on the dashboard right here. There you go.